We know that 75% of online applications never make it onto the hiring manager. And this is largely due to a piece of software known as an applicant tracking system. Now, I've provided a lot of tips in the past on how do you configure your resume so that it's going to pass through this hiring bot. But what I haven't talked a lot about is, okay, if you made those changes to your resume, how do you know if it really worked? So I wanna explain two different ways that you can check and see if your resume is quote unquote ATS friendly. And the first is really easy. You copy all the information that's in your resume, control all, command all, paste it into a plain text document or plain text file, and then look at the results. If everything is scrambled, if there's information missing, if things have suddenly turned into symbols, um, this happens when you have a, um, a really unique font, embedded images, or you know you try to really unconventional uh, design, then you know there's some issues. You gotta work it out, probably change the structure and some of the content on your resume. The other way that you can check to see what's going on and if your resume is ATS friendly is if you submit it for a free resume critique through Top Resume. Part of our um, evaluation process is to show you what happens when your resume is parsed in one of those systems. We'll tell you, this is what the system thinks your name is, your contact information, your title, your most recent role, years of experience, education, things like that. Um, this is what it thinks your top skills are. If you look at that information and say, well, that's not me or that's not right, then you know that there's something going on with the format of your resume and you're going to need to rejigger things if you want it to safely pass through the applicant tracking system.